guys, so today I'm going to be trying out a new recipe. It's just something I kind of thought up when I was doing my grocery list last week. So I figured I would record it, and if it comes out delicious, I will post it up on my YouTube channel. It's pretty much going to be like a chicken casserole, like garlic bread, cheesiness, like I don't even know. Like everything that I like all in one, so we're going to see how that goes. So if you're on WW... Uh, rotisserie chickens are zero points the chicken breast as long as it doesn't have the skin on it yes I know skin is delicious but we are just gonna pull that off This recipe, if you used boiled chicken, it, the boiled chicken would be so dry that it would probably soak up the barbecue sauce and it would just be very dry. So, again, we're, we're just kind of playing this as it goes. So, we will see what happens. But I just shredded all the chicken, the chicken breasts, pretty good amount. We're going to take this shredded chicken and we're going to do about a half a cup of the raised no sugar added barbecue sauce. I can't find my half cup measurements, so I just use a half a cup of, you know, from here. Pour it in the chicken. I know this seems like something that's so basic, but I bet it's going to come out so good. Alright, we're definitely going to need some more barbecue sauce. Alright, this looks good. So I used a half a cup and two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. It actually looks like you can make like pulled barbecue chicken sandwiches with it like this. So what I did was I got my, let's see what the measurements on this one is. I have a couple different Pyrex dishes. These are like some of my favorites. Um, this is an 8 by 6 by 2 so we're going to take it and just lightly spray with some cooking spray. Just going to add that in there. Just kind of spread it around. Alright, this is a perfect size dish because it doesn't make it like too thin, but it's like thick enough. So now I'm going to use reduced fat shredded mozzarella cheese. This one does have points for a fourth cup. It's only two points on WW Blue. Okay, I'm going to say that's about a fourth cup. Now you could always measure. You probably get more measuring. I'm going to sprinkle the cheese on there. This is actually perfect. Perfect! So exciting. Okay. Now we're going to take some Great Value Biscuits. These are literally like 47 cents at Walmart. I'm only going to use five of them though since this is a small dish. If you were to double the size or double the recipe, you could use the whole thing. Oh my god, tell me why that just scared me. These biscuits, when they cook, though, on their own, they don't have that, like, buttery, you know, buttery deliciousness on the outside. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these up into quarters. Five of them. and spray it 15 times with some I can't be believe it's not butter I'm 
Wait, I lost track. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that's six. Mix it around. Oh yeah, these kind of look a little dry when you cook them as just regular biscuits, so we're just trying to spruce them up a bit. Alright, hopefully that's 15. I literally lost track. Uh, but let's see. Now, for seasonings on it, I want to do something similar to garlic bread. Um, however, I don't have garlic salt. So we're just going to manage. We're going to do some onion salt with garlic powder and paprika. Alright, obviously we need like a half teaspoon of garlic powder because gar anything garlic is literally life. Right, a fourth teaspoon of paprika and a fourth teaspoon of onion salt. So just going to mix these around without like, you know, mashing them together. Get it evenly across all of the little biscuits. And then I'm just going to place it across the top. We're just going to go based off of the biscuits because that's the only thing that needs to cook in this. Everything else is already cooked. So these biscuits say to cook on 400 for 10 to 13 minutes. I put it on 375 because especially like Walmart brand biscuits and like cinnamon rolls, they burn and they cook very quickly. So I'm going to put it on 375 and I'll see how long I cook it for. I'm going to put a timer in. So let me just put this in the oven. And I'm cooking it without anything on top. Oh. And let's just do stopwatch. And we'll look back at this and see how long it took to cook. But I am going to keep in mind that at 400, it's about 10 minutes. So I'll probably check it in 10 minutes and just see. Uh, once it's golden in color, then we could take it out. Because like I said, everything is cooked, so we don't want it to get really dry. Um, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and cook up some mashed potatoes. Okay, let me refresh my memory. Let me see if this, if it serves. Okay, so I put it already in my tracker just to show you guys. My Weight Watchers tracker. Um, 10 tablespoons, which is a half a cup. Half a cup is eight tablespoons plus two. So that's two points for the entire thing. Um, the chicken breast is obviously zero. Five biscuits is eight points and a fourth cup. So when you go to your recipe builder, if you put that in and you change the serving to two, it would be six points for half that pan. And it's a lot. Um, I know for me, I'm going to have just a fourth of it so I'm gonna switch it down to four servings and it's only three points a serving so I'm gonna whip this up this is super easy too you just add uh, two cups of water to a pan and as soon as it's boiling you take it off throw this in whip it up with a fork and put a cover on it Obvious that it was done and the cheese was melted. All right, look at this. Doesn't it look so good? Oh, it looks so good. So what I I thought I pressed record, but apparently I didn't. Um, I put half a cup of mash on my plate, and then I did a fourth right here of the casserole on top with just a little drizzle of barbecue sauce. Mario taste tested it and he said he really liked it and I taste tested his and it was really, really good. It's like the perfect combination. Chicken, mashed potatoes, barbecue sauce, biscuits, I mean, and cheese. Can't get any better than that. So this recipe is definitely gonna be on my Remake Easy 
easy recipes list. I am going to post this up on YouTube. So, oh, look at that. It's so delicious looking. Oh. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. I'll see you in my next one.